What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. I want to talk about a new jailbreak tweak from Ryan Petrich. It is called Little Brother. Kind of an interesting name, but you'll see why it's called that uh, once we get into this overview and walkthrough of this jailbreak tweak. Now, again, it's from Ryan Petrich, a well-known iOS developer, probably one of the most prolific developers in jailbreaking, period. Um, and this tweak, Little Brother, is a tweak that allows you to adjust the display zoom settings on your iPhone. So even if you're running a small device, well, relatively small device like the iPhone 5S that I have in hand here, you can adjust the display zoom sort of like you can on the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, so this allows you to basically effectively adjust the resolution and you see much more real estate by adjusting the zoom. Now the large setting is the default setting and that, that setting is what you see right here. You get the normally sized app icons, but those will actually look fairly large once we start playing with this tweak. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to set the display zoom to medium, and you can see right off the bat how the difference is between the two app icons, between medium and large. Notice that. You see how much more real estate you get when you tap on medium? You can actually see four rows of app icons here, whereas with the large, you could see about three and a fourth or three and a half at most. Uh, so you can see there's definitely a difference. And when you select small, it gets even smaller, but the difference is a little less discernible between small and medium uh, when compared to medium and large. So to me, medium is definitely the sweet spot of this jailbreak tweak and for other reasons as we'll discuss a little bit later. But if you swipe here, you'll you'll be able to see comparisons with other apps. So the Messages app, compare medium and large. You see how much more real estate you have to work with when you select medium. See that? You can actually see most of this picture. If you select small, you can see even more of the picture there. Um, and it just basically repeats itself as we go through this example. So for here, you see basically a paragraph on large right down to, but I didn't doubt you. You tap medium, you see, but I didn't doubt you, and even more text that you can see there. And if you go to small, you see both paragraphs just like that. Uh, so you can really see the benefits from these examples uh, of Little Brother there by having the display zoom set to either medium or small. Now in this example, I'm going to set it to medium. And I'm just going to tap set in the upper right hand corner and then tap use medium. You're going to respring and then once you come back up, you'll notice that the app icons are much smaller and you can fit a lot more information on screen at once courtesy of Little Brother. So I've resprung and now you see the app icons. You see the difference right off the bat, right? Uh, the app icons are much smaller, uh, still readable, still tappable but they are much smaller. And as a result, the real estate that you get from an app such as the settings app, you get to view much more of the settings app. Before, all you saw on the first page of the settings app was down to do not disturb. But now you can see general, you can see display brightness, you can even see a part of wallpaper as well. And that's with the medium setting. So just imagine how much more you'd be able to see with the small setting enabled. Uh, so this is uh, one of the benefits of Display Zoom and hence Little Brother. Uh, it works for other apps such as the clock. You see more, uh, you could fit more clocks on the screen in the world clock section or in the alarm clock section. Um, it also works with notes. So you can see a lot more content in, in the notes app. But another thing that you want to keep in mind is that it doesn't play nice with every app. For instance, the App Store, you're going to notice that on the App Store, things are still the same. Everything's still really large. Uh, the assets have not changed. So it's going to be on app by app basis as to whether uh, Little Brother actually has an impact on how much viewable real estate you have uh, within that app. So let's go back into the settings here. And you probably already noticed this, but I didn't talk about it. You see these two little toggles here, home screen landscape and lock screen landscape. Now on the I iPhone 6 Plus, you have the benefit of having landscape mode on the home screen. This is not available by default on any other iPhone. Well, with Little Brother, you can actually enable home screen landscape right here from this tweak. You can also enable lock screen landscape, which no, no device is able to do. So I'm going to show you both of these right now. So here's home screen landscape. And you can see right off the bat, the benefits. Uh, you can view your home screen right there in landscape mode. Now, the only problem with this is that when you launch apps, 
most of these apps, even if they are stock apps, aren't designed to, to run in landscape mode on the iPhone. Uh, for instance, the App Store obviously is one of them. Uh, there is other apps like uh, the Settings app is one of them. Um, there are apps that do work, such as the Safari app, but it will take a, a while for that to transition over to landscape mode. Uh, for instance, if I'm in landscape mode there and I launch Safari, you're going to notice a little blip happen and then it goes into landscape mode there. So it's not a, a perfectly seamless transition. So largely, I think that the landscape mode on devices like the 5S is kind of not exactly that useful on the home screen just yet at least. Uh, you also have landscape on the lock screen as mentioned, and that's a first for any device. So there's landscape on the lock screen. Looks pretty good. Slide to unlock. You go right into landscape on the home screen, which is nice. Uh, but again, that's going to be, your mileage is going to vary a little bit on that as well. So just keep that in mind. Those are m mainly bonus features. The real meat and potatoes of this tweak is the display zoom. And like I said, I recommend medium, especially on the iPhone 5S. Whether or not this it plays differently on other devices, I haven't been able to test out. But on the 5S, I recommend medium over small, even though in theory small would give you better benefits, you would have even more real estate to work with. But I'm going to show you why I recommend medium over small here. Once we come back up, you're going to notice a little bug or a little glitch that happens when running small display mode on the 5S here. Let me, let me know if you see this. <laughs> Um, you see that? See that little glitch there? So that's what happens when you run small mode on the uh, 5S. Now, granted, you do get a lot more real estate to work with, but you can see there's some glitches up here. Uh, you can see you can see all the way down to sounds now. So that was as really nice if you're really concerned with getting as much in on one screen as possible. This is definitely the best way to go. But you're going to encounter those glitches that kind of make it unfortunate. Doesn't doesn't really work that well just yet. But again, this is a 1.0 release. Uh, let's go to Cydia, and you can see little brother there. It is 1.0. It uh, scales your device with more zoom levels and orientation options. Folks, this is an awesome jailbreak tweak. It works. It just works out of the box. It's easy to set up, has some very nice settings, some awesome settings, actually. Uh, there are other tweaks out here that do similar things, but you'll, you'll be hard-pressed to find a package that's as well put together as Little Brother. So once this is updated, I think this is going to be a really, really awesome tweak. Right now, uh, the medium mode works very well. Um, the home screen landscape mode is kind of iffy, um, but that's just the nature of all the iOS apps on the iPhone 5S and other devices that don't have native landscape. Um, but I say as this tweak progresses, you're going to get a lot more out of your $1.99 asking price out of the $1.99 asking price than you do initially. So you can go into this feeling good about the fact that this will be updated. Ryan always updates his tweaks, and uh, he does a really good job with that. So props to him for releasing Little Brother. Let me know what you guys think about Little Brother down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.